Welcome back everybody, Danny here for another sim racing video and in today's video I want to talk about a topic that has been proven to be very controversial in the sim racing community and uh, if you've obviously read the title you know that that is Do Street Cars Belong in Racing Simulators? This has kind of been a hot topic always for me but recently it's it's been in uh in the talkings amongst the sim racing community because of the soon to be released project cars 2 because there's a lot of commotion and a lot of back and forth whether or not project cars is a racing simulator or if it is a what is called a simcade or just an arcade game um, and there are a lot of aspects that put it right there on that fence and some people say it's one, some people say that it is the other. Me, personally, I do not have a copy of Project Cars 2, so until I get my hands on it, I can't personally say one way or the other. What I can tell you is my take on this subject in general. So, I'm not going to beat around the bush, I'll be straight up with you, and many of you may agree, and many of you may disagree, but for a very, very long time, I felt strongly one way and not the other. So for the longest time, I did not think that street cars or road cars, in other words, should be in racing simulators at all. As a matter of fact, that's one of the reasons I went from console racing on games like Forza and Gran, Tur uh, Gran Turismo and things like that. That's why I went from console racing specifically over to the PC side of things and more specifically right to iRacing. It was the only title that I could find that I thought I would be interested in that just basically had race cars and kind of left road cars out of the equation. That was part of the thing that made me so annoyed. Even when I was racing consoles, I used to hate that grind. The grind of going through all the road cars just to eventually get to the race cars. And for me, it took me a long time to do that, which was quite frustrating. And I know a lot of other people felt the same way. And I just wanted to get to where I would just be racing, you know, a true simulation of racing motorsport. So for me, you don't typically, yes, there are, there are occasions when a street car will be in a race, but it's not really technically like an official sanctioned race. Anything you would see on TV, anything with, anything with sponsorships, things like that. That is going to be a real racing motorsport. That is what I was looking for because I will never have the, the money or the skill to race really professionally. So the closest thing I could get to is racing in a simulator. So for me at least specifically, I thought that there was no place for street cars in a racing simulator. Um, and I know a lot of people disagree with that. And if you do, you know, let me know what you think in the comments. That's no problem. We can have different ideas of what a simulation racing game needs to be. Now, I know that there are simulators for driving. And that's a completely different thing. And I enjoy a lot of those. Um, but, and, and those can have road cars. I and mean, in some cases, like the truck simulators, they have trucks and et cetera and things like that, and that's fine, but racing simulators, to me, need to have racing motorsport cars and not street cars. Now, I felt that way until about six or so months ago, and I still primarily feel that way because I just have no interest in sitting behind a monitor and driving a LaFerrari around a track. I just have no interest in that really. But I'll tell you why I have slightly changed my mind recently. When VR went mainstream and got into the hands of the public, and I mean the uh, Oculus Rift and not the development kits, but the, the consumer versions, the Vive, the Oculus Rift, uh, PlayStation VR, when those got in the hands of the typical consumer and you actually got to experience what it feels like to sit in a car. Once that happened, my thinking changed slightly on whether or not car, standard road cars or street cars should be in a simulator. Because when you're racing, that's one thing. But there's never a time in my life where I'll probably be able to afford a Porsche 911 or something like that. Any of these really extravagant 
street cars that are so uberly expensive, but would be cool to kind of drive them around. Up until VR, a monitor experience didn't give you that the real experience of being in that car. Now that there's VR, if there's a particular car that I want to cruise around on, I can get pretty close to that feeling by picking that car and putting the Oculus Rift on and driving around on a track or on a fictitious road course or somewhere out in the country, uh, you know, like modded tracks and whatnot. You can do that with VR. So in that aspect, I do have an appreciation for those street cars because I know a lot of people like myself that will never have the opportunity to drive a car such as I was speaking of, Ferraris, Lamborghinis, etc. Even cheaper cars that you may never have an opportunity to drive. It doesn't matter the price, but it's that experience that VR puts you in. So with VR, I think it's okay to have some cars in a racing simulator just because you have that total experience. Hopefully that kind of makes sense to everybody. But for the most part, for me, I think that racing simulators should primarily have race cars because it's a racing simulator. And, and for me, I have much more interest in hopping into a GT3 car or a Formula One car or even like a Formula truck or anything that really is a motorsport. That's what I want to experience for myself. And I'd rather a developer you know, spend their time, money, and efforts on more motorsport content and maybe a little less, um, you know, on the road side of things. But like I said, I've slightly kind of, I'm in the middle now because of VR because I cannot deny that getting into a Porsche 911 GT3, I can't deny that that is a pretty awesome experience in VR. And rowing through the gears and, uh, you know, getting in an old classic uh, Chevelle Super Sport or something like that. That is very cool when you can actually look around and experience the cockpit. But uh, for the most part, I think racing simulators should be strictly to racing simulators. And we should leave it to the arcade sims, you know, the sim cage is what they call them, or even just regular driving simulators to be able to experience those other type of cars. And that's just my opinion. But, uh, you know, I am very excited about Project Cars coming out. I know that there have been a lot of people who seem to be disappointed in Project Cars, even though many of them that have an opinion haven't even had their hands on the game. Uh, I don't like to call specific people out, and I definitely will not say any names, but uh, there are people who are uh, assuming that Project Cars 2 is going to be terrible because Project Cars 1 was terrible. Uh, and in my opinion, Project Cars 1 was not terrible. It wasn't the best, but it wasn't terrible. And they have no idea what Project Cars 2 is going to be like till they get their hands on it. And I may make another video on that as well, but I am looking forward to that game. I do plan on making some videos when I get it in my hands, but let me know what you think. Do you think street cars belong in racing simulators? Let me know whether you think it does or doesn't, and let me know why you think that in the comments below. I love having these discussions and stuff like that, and that's why I make the videos. So yeah, that's going to be it for this one. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.